This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Rick Ross was declared the best rapper alive to Drake. Okay, now, this isn't surprising. Drake has been under Rick Ross's wing, in a sense, since the beginning. They used to, they did a lot of music together. Uh, but is he the best rapper alive? Drake thinks so. I I would say Jada Kiss is much better than Rick Ross, but Rick Ross is up there. Rick Ross is definitely up there. I mean, he most of his verses are real strong. And, you know, he's very versatile with his raps. You know, he can do turn on music, he can do chill music. He's one of the better rappers of the past 15 years, let's say that, right? He's up there, top 10, somewhere in there. I don't know. I think so. Uh, Drake, I don't know, best rapper alive, though. That's 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 a stretch. Um, even Rick Ross right here is, like, biting his lip just thinking about Drake. Mmm, thank you. Mm, best rapper alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Um, the baby had a baby with Danalea. Danalea, she popped. She had a baby. Now, the baby wasn't careful because, you know, uh, he's going to have to pay child support. He has two baby mothers now. So, hope he's ready for that. And hopefully, he gets uh, uncanceled soon. So he can bring in the money that he's going to need to support two separate families. Uh, then we got Meek. He gets the the Robert. What is it? The Mand- What's well, a Mandela Award? What's exactly it called? It's called the Nelson Mandela Foundation Humanitarian Award. This is for his work in criminal justice reform. With uh, along with Michael Rubin, Jay Z, uh, the guy that owns the Patriots, Robert Kraft, um, he even partnered with Virginia Governor Ralph Northam regarding reforming the state's probation bill. This is important stuff, man. It's got to start somewhere. Kim's doing his her part. Meek's doing his part. Meek Mandela. That's a real thing. Now you can really call Meek Meek Mandela. Because guess what? He has the Mandela Award, okay? Now, Tory Lanez got under the comp. I don't know why he put the Dream Chaser chain in there. But he did. <laughs> he had to wrapper it up. Uh, so he made it a rapper award. And then he said, uh, blessings. I got the Nelson Mandela Humanitarian Award. Thank you, RIP to the great Nelson Mandela. I ain't grow up playing ball. I had a Smith & West Western. Smith & Western? <laughs> this is why. Is that... See, I ain't growing up playing ball. I had a Smith and Western because where I'm from, it's very hard to turn 27. Then Tory Lanez corrects him and says Smith and Wesson. Meek, uh, Meek Mill says Tory Lanez is called Meek Flow. Stay, congrats, or something weirdo. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh,. These two, I thought they weren't getting along at all because they had that whole fight over that girl. What was her name? Melly or something. Supposedly one of the chasers tried to wife up Melly. She wasn't comfortable there and went over to Tori's team. I guess I guess that's over. That's good. Uh, then we see right here. This is where Meek made the got corrected. Then we got uh, okay. So. A rapper back in May by the name of Boog the Bandit. Okay, this guy was uh, out of Columbus, okay? Attempt robbery on May 20th. A 26-year-old named Courtney Nicole Bruce reportedly sitting in a car with another person when a group of armed men approached them. A confrontation between the groups resulted. Several shots being fired. Bandit died at the scene. So... Last month, uh, a 22-year-old man was charged. And then just today, or yesterday, I should say, a uh, second suspect was charged for the murder. Yeah. Sad, man. Over some possessions. That's sad. Uh, then we got Kawhi. White Leonard. This is the breakdown. He got a $176 million contract. $176.3 million to be exact. So 
21 22 year which is this year next year he'll get almost 40 million just shy of 40 million then the next year 22 to 23 42.49 23 to 24, 45.64, and then the last 24 to 25, 48.78 million. Leonard could have signed a four year, $187 million extension if he had opted in his $36 million contract in 2021 2022. He would have made $223 million. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. But he's the star player. Back to Drake, simping out here. He uh, bought a chain for his new girlfriend's uh, kid. What's this kid's name? Here he is. Uh, so Amari Bailey gives Amari Bailey a custom 10 chain just because. Drake's been uh, dating his mom, Joanna Leia. <laughs> Drake's going to be your stepdad, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's about it, man. Get in the comments below. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do I want to yeah, I want to talk about that? One more thing. One more thing. So, Soulja Boy and Bow Wow drop music video, which is cool. Okay. But what's funny is, let me see. Let me see. Let me get a snapshot of it so you can. You got to go on Soldiers. It's big Soldiers. Uh, Instagram, oh no, I'm sorry, you gotta go on his YouTube to get it. You, he only dropped like 30 seconds worth of bars, but it's good. It's good to see these guys doing a song, period, right? They just did it real quick. Uh, but what's funny in it, they threw, <laughs> this is what's funny in it. I'll, I'll say in a second. I gotta get the exact lyric. I think Bow Wow said it. Let me see. Okay, so. <laughs> They were talking about we'll shoot people. Give me two heaters. You know, with the shoot people. It's like, come on, bro. Stop. Stop. You guys ain't shooting nothing. Okay? Soldier Boy said he was fruit town. What was he? Fruit town empire or something. Anyways. He's from Bompton. Come on, man. He's from one of them, but he's not from LA. I I, I don't I actually concerned for him at this point. It's like, dude, do you really think you're from LA, bro? You said you were from Chicago and moved to Atlanta. At what point did you become a blood in L.A.? What, because you met a few people out there? Nah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Him and Chris Brown are sadly mistaken. <laughs> okay? I don't know why more people don't talk about that. That is spooky that they think they're like bloods all of a sudden. Like, it's not, and they're even claiming blocks in L.A. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Sheesh. Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.